good morning children welcome to class 8 maths children today we are going to start a new chapter in maths chapter number 9 that is mathematical expressions and identities in class 7 you have studied about expressions today we are going to study in detail about mathematical expressions and identities so first of all we should know what is and mathematical expressions children you all are familiar suppose we write 2x square minus 5 it is an expression we write 8y minus 3 that is also an expression so what is an expression it's a numeric we are familiar with the following expressions like x plus 3 2y minus 5 3x and 4x plus 7 here you see this is an expression this is also an expression here it is only a single term but still it is an expression same way 4xy plus 7 it is an expression so expressions are formed by variables and constant along with the sign now what are variables we should know for example you see here it is x plus 3 so x is a variable correct same way in this expression you see 4xy so x and y they are variables so expressions are formed from variables and constants constants means here you see plus 7 it is a constant and it is connected by signs of operations signs means here you say the constant is plus 7 along with the sign if i give you 2xy minus 3 and if the constant is asked then you will write the constant is minus 3 yes so in 2y minus 5 is formed from the variable y and constant minus 5 is it clear children constant and variables variable can be x y z anything it can be a b c l m n so always it is represented by an alphabets <coughs> so when variables are used with other numbers or operations they create an algebraic expression operations means it can be addition it can be separation it can be even multiplication so anything it can be used operations means either it can be addition subtraction multiplication or division so here you see in this this is an expression x plus y here the operation used is plus then here you see children it is a and b but it is a into b so the operation used is multiplication correct same way in this expression you see here there are two operations used together addition and subtraction so here it is plus 6n and then minus 5 so here minus is there here plus is there so this all are mathematical expressions now we should know what are variables as i told you variable is a symbol which does not have a fixed numerical value it does not have a fixed numerical value means suppose if i write x minus 5 now x can be 1 it can be 2 also it can be 5 anything you can take suppose if i write here 1 take the value of x as 1 then x minus 5 that is 1 minus 5 you get minus Four, so x is a variable, correct? X is a variable, and it can have any numerical value. Instead of one, you say that if you, instead of one, if you want five, you can take five also. Five minus five is equal to zero. So your variable can have any numerical value. we use alphabets to represent variables we use what alphabets so this x is an alphabet 
I give you here it is given 8y minus 3. So, y is a variable correct and here the value is given numerical value is 8. It can have any value. It can have 2, 4, 3 likewise I told you here x minus 5. So, it is 1 minus 5 you can take any value yes. So, variable is a symbol which does not have a fixed numerical value here no fixed numerical value. Then we shall learn about terms. What are the terms? Now in expression we see children, we write like two x minus three y. Can you tell me how many terms are there? There are two terms. One is two x and another one is minus three y. So, in an algebraic expression one or more signs separate it more than one signs separate it into several parts. Each part along with its sign is known as term along with its sign. Here there are two terms, but first one you will write as 2x another one you will write as minus 3y correct expressions can be of two terms it can be of three terms also. I write here 8x square minus 5y plus 7. It is an algebraic expression, correct? But it is having three terms. Which all are the terms? Can you tell me now? Yes. The first one is 8x square. The second one is minus 5y, correct? And the third one is plus 7. Here it is given 4x plus 3. Expression is made up of two terms. 4x plus 3. There are two terms. 4x and 3. Now terms themselves can be formed as the product of factors. That is the term 4x is a product of 4 and x. Then let us see what are coefficients. Now, the numerical factor of a term is called its numerical coefficient or you can even say coefficient like I give you 5a minus 3b. So, here a is a variable and 5 is coefficient. Similarly, here you see children 3b. In this b is a variable and 3 is coefficient. So, minus 3 is a coefficient. So, children today we have studied about coefficients, variables, terms and mathematical expressions. And in the next class, we will be studying about monomial, binomial, trinomial and polynomials. Thank you children.